When you hear the name Mind Gym, what do you think of? For me, I sort of just imagined a cartoon brain pumping iron. But for the folks at a growing startup in Denver, Colorado, and the U.S. Air Force, it's all about bringing mental fitness on par with physical fitness. Nestled in amongst the massive displays from defense contractors at this year's AFA Warfare Symposium was a rather nondescript seven foot by seven foot box. At least nondescript on the outside because it's on the inside where this box really stands out. It's gonna be dark, it's gonna be some lights, some sounds. Towards the end, you might find a sensation of floating. It's just five minutes. I'll see you on the other side. This is the Mind Gym from Lumina. It's a sensory experience that, according to its creators, can help its users work on their mental health. It allows you a breath into yourself and the ability to think way deeper than all this stuff in our standard reality consciousness and start to very quickly interact with our subconscious. The things that come to uh, a person's mind visually, because the brain when not stimulated is trying to stimulate, trying to make up things, trying to fill in the blanks. And so in a lot of darkness, calm, you can see the person that you really need to actually have a conversation with. You can see yourself, you can see your kid, you can see perspective shift where it's like, man, everything in my life is so focused on X. Like, is that really the true meaning? Is that what I should be putting my heart and mind into? Admittedly, that's a lot for someone to wrap their mind around, which is why the folks at Lumina say trying is believing. You know, we have a phrase it's called like opening the door for somebody, which I got to do with you. You see your, your reaction when you got to experience it. And I've seen everything from, you know, some sleepy faces, to some really joyful faces, to some people with tears in their eyes, um, everywhere from, you know, this helped me manage my stress to this helped me feel more connected to my God. It's like a whole range of reactions. But that's where Mind Gym is now. To get here, the people behind the project needed the right partner. And that's where the Air Force comes in. Lumina was able to take part in an incubator program called Small Business Innovation Research, or Sibber for short. Sibber essentially gave them the funding to develop their product into something that had tangible benefits for the men and women serving in today's Air Force. We started working on how to create a user interface that was intuitive, a self-serve kiosk system, um, and ultimately could collect, analyze, and give results on, at, the, at, at first, the bio data. So heart rate, heart rate variability, and respiration rate with a target of how do we take these really stressed out folks and just reduce their heart rate. And so that was the initial, what we launched into. The early results were positive enough. Lumina had a new problem. They needed to grow at a rate that worked for them and the Air Force. Enter Pam Glick, who not only saw the company's potential, but also knew the best way to develop it. We didn't really have a product that could be mass distributed yet. We really needed to scale it um, to be able to deliver it with a quality that we wanted to have. So when I first came in, I kind of pivoted the company to let's um, raise money, uh, invest in the tech, both the physical uh, uh, composition of the box as well as the software used to support it. Once they got the mind gym where it needed to be, things for the company really took off. We were fortunate to get it into seven of the, ma the nine major commands of the Air Force, um, which we felt really great about. Um, and now that we've got it scaled, we're looking to expand it um, within each of those bases. There are now mine gyms at almost a dozen Air Force installations from Hawaii to Turkey, and there are plans to add more very soon. The man taking the program to each new base estimates he spent 400 to 500 hours in the mind gym on his own. For him, it's more than a job. I just want to put as many people and faces inside of this thing to see what they can do. And I imagine eventually we'll be in professional sports. We're going into commercial aviation next. Um, I think we'll be in clinics, you know, airports, gyms. While we were at the AFA's Warfare Symposium in Colorado this year, I had the chance to experience the mind gym briefly, and it really was an amazing visual and auditory experience 
that will probably end up helping a lot of people if Lumina continues to expand. Ooh.